Hey, what's up, guys? Just sitting here, you know, vibing out, enjoying my morning. It's a beautiful trading morning, a uh, beautiful Thursday morning, and uh, made some good money and about to make some withdrawals. Matter of fact, come on in. Let me show you. All right, so as you can see, I'm in my LQD FX, um, you know, withdraw areas, the bank wire. Um, you know, it takes usually about seven or ten days to go into your bank account, but I'm withdrawing eight hundred and seventy dollars fifty three cent because uh, that's just basically what I needed to to get me a new a new car. And um, you know, the rich people teach you to you know get good used cars, not financing brand new cars and getting loans. You understand? So. Um, I take their advice and try to be wise with my money. I'm not rich, but I got a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Forex is doing me good. Um, so, guys, uh, I know you want to live the Lambo lifestyle, but you got to be wise with your money and, and, and go in levels. It's all about growing your account. Grow your account to 20 k Grow your account to 50 and and 100000 You know, then think about living the Lambo lifestyle. But now, for now, we just living a good life. Um, taking care of our needs and our family. Hey, man, to me, that's the Forex lifestyle, man. $870.53. We're going to go ahead and um, withdraw that. So now that we got the withdraw out the way, funds is on the way. Uh, today's video is about chart patterns, okay? Chart patterns is like a, a, a landmine, a detector. And, and price get boxed into a wedge or to a tight triangle. And then all of a sudden, boom! saying price breaks out and for that cycle of time there's a lot of momentum in that market so keep watching and I'm gonna show you how to trade and spot and make money off of those patterns roll the intro what's up y'all this your boy Jay Wayne you know representing team take profits and in this video which is back to the basics we going back to the basics because a lot of people are trying to learn all of these strategies and all of this advanced stuff but they don't know the basics you feel me so we talking about chart patterns and before we get into that I just want to do a recap of the trades we caught so as you can see on the screen I'm showing my team is news I told them I have a buy position on gold and um, as you can see right here on the screen, I kind of blew it up for you. This, this is the gold trade I'm in. Uh, you can see my position down there. I took a standard out, caught it right at the bottom, you know, caught it right at the base. And there you go. You can see it rising up. And so I told my team we were taking it. So this is the kind of mentorship that I'm giving the team and, and, you know, in my group. So. You know, if you want, you, I think everybody that's trying to get into Forex that is new need to have that type of mentorship, um, especially when trading news. So, you know, we up about 240 and, um, you know, everything is good. That's Aaron right there saying go buy on fire. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get right to our chart patterns. And I really think it's very important to learn these over time. But the first one we're going to go over is double top. All right. So basically, double top is a, a reversal pattern after an uptrend. OK, and it's been going up as let's go back a little bit. Always look left, but it's been going up on the uptrend. Pull back probably 50 percent, uh, maybe uh, a little bit more than that. Pull back a little bit more than 50 percent. Pull out the Fibonacci. You can see that. All right. Pull back almost to the 61.8. All right. So, boom, we got an uptrend. And then it pulls back, and then it goes on the uptrend, and then now it's finally exhausted. Okay, long big consolidation area, uh, and then now it's exhausted. Boom! You see like a head and shoulder. I mean, not a head and shoulders, but kind of maybe a head and shoulders. But really, I see a double top almost forming here. That's good enough, right? Because you're gonna see that after it, and the uptrend is being exhausted. It's tired now. Okay, so you see it um, basically try to push up with an engulfing candle. It forms a valley comes up and boom and here's your neckline right here so this is one to be aware of boom you got a neckline all right and then you're taught you're taught to sell right after the neckline okay and also for an example from the from the top to where the neckline is that's usually where your take profit is going to be that length okay so you got that with patience all right so you got that same movement 
all right so they tell you to sell right at the neckline um, so don't be greedy with this you know where's your take profit you could do that that measure or you or if you have a goal a pip goal that you want to reach every day 15 pips or whatever it is reach that goal by the way how many pips is this if you took it at the neckline all right, that's 32 pips, right? That's good. That's good. That's a good living. If you make 30 pips a day, that's good. 50 pips a day, that's good, right? Um, do not be greedy. I teach my team, do not be greedy, all right? So um, that's the double top there, all right? And then you see an overall head shape, and it formed like some little shoulders here, right at the same zone pretty much. And and these exhaustion, wick exhaustions, I'm going to leave a... Um, a, um, a, vid a link to my video uh, right up above so you can see that there's really a pivot that happened right here with the wick exhaustion telling you that there's going to be more continuation to the downside so I'm gonna link that video you can check that out after this one alright but that's usually how you play it so boom stop loss you already know that's above the high and let's put a stop loss in boom you always put that above the high. Don't put it where you want to put it. Put it where the market tells you to put it. And that's above the high. And this is a nice move. Now, how do you know really when to get in? Now, me personally, I'm not getting in at the neckline. The neckline is okay, but I'm going to try to get in a little bit faster. Once I identify that, hey, this is exhaustion, because look, if you pull out a trend line, what did it do? It made a high and a lower high. It made a high and a lower high. So that's telling you that this is, you know, going in a downtrend. This is possibly going down, okay? Yeah, you see these big green engulfing candles, and that's where the retail traders try to buy. But really, it's not that time. So how do I know when to really get into this sale right here? Once you see this exhaustion happening and this uh, slope happening on this trend line, this lower high, how do you know when to get in, really, if you don't want to wait to the neckline? So let me show you this. So this stochastic right here is showing you. Let me pull out the hairs, crosshairs. It's showing you, hey, this is in a downtrend. All right. Um, it, it's about to. It's in the sell zone right at the top. It's overbought. Price is overbought. So it's already giving you a clue. We don't know that it's exhausted here until it comes back down and comes back up, and that's when you see this cross happen here. So it already told you, hey, we're crossing over. This probably is going to change over. It's in a, a overbought, a overbought zone. Okay, then it goes. Let it, let it pull back, and then it comes back up. But it never comes back up above here. It almost comes to the same level, almost. Okay, forming a little bit of a double top. All right. Sometimes you can have it right to the tip of it, right exact, and but it can come close too. Long as it's within that range, we got us a double top. All right. And how do you take it? As soon as you see that's the, that green line cross below the red line. Boom. Take it right here. And what I love about this Martin Stochastic Indicator is that it alerts you. All you have to do is right click on it. Add alert. Alright. Uh, once per bar close. You can have it send the email, text message, whatever you want. Um, and it's going to alert you and saying trade available. Alright. That's what we wanted to say. And then boom. You get it, and that's the alert sound. Okay, that's what it sounds like, and it's gonna alert you. All right, as soon as this thing happens, so that's why I like it. I really love it. Um, the link to this stochastic is in my uh, description below. Um, you know, you get forty percent off if you use my code. Uh, my code, I'll put it right here on the screen. Forty percent off. Um, you know, you don't. It's been a blessing that Martin even give my YouTube subscribers this opportunity because most people have to pay full price for it, 200 and something dollars, and you getting it at 40%. I mean, that's a deal. So I really love it, though. It changed. I never uh, trade without it as well. So this is the stochastic was always my staple, but now this Martin stochastic and all that it does, and it told and it tells you when it's in the downtrend because of the color background. This is a staple of mine. This is not going anywhere. So I'm, I'm, I always trade with this. So, um, that's, so that's how we play that double top. All right, and that's how we entered in. So, all right. So, that, so the next chart pattern we're gonna do is double bottom, double bottom. All right. So looking at the chart right now, can you spot 
what pattern can you spot here? Can you spot a double bottom? Can you spot it? Can you see where it is? Give you give give you a quick second. All right, here it is, right here, double bottom. We got a double bottom located right here. All right, so let's zoom in on that. Now, what happens is with a double bottom, I know a lot of you gurus and and professional traders already know about this, but there's a new forex trader birthed every day. So I gotta help my people understand this, and they come into my channel to to learn and grow. All right, so um, let's help them. All right, so the main thing is here is that you got a double bottom here. We we'll put um, a line there. Okay, and that's how you can spot it. So it's pretty much at the same level. And basically, price came down to this level, and it couldn't hold. Um, there were buying pressure coming back, and then it tried to come back again. And when it hit the supply zone, and it tried to come back again, and there was more buying pressure at this level, and that's why you see it come back up. And then it takes off after that. These are patterns that's going to happen regardless whether you see it or not. But I'm just saying, like, they're happening all the time, okay? But we just have to learn how to play the Forex game the right way. And these are patterns that hold true, okay, in the right conditions, okay? Now, you can see this double bottom, and it, and it never really goes back up because it's not in the right situation. You got to know when, when this happens, everything else has to line up. OK, so there's really no indicators on the chart and you don't really need to trade with a bunch of indicators. I do have a couple staples and I'm going to show you how to get into this chart. I mean, get into this trade using this pattern. So first you see a double bottom and they tell you that the length of from here to the neckline is pretty much. Which you can do to get the uh the take profit, okay? That's where your take profit is. So as you can see, you got it. Now don't go no more than that. Don't be greedy as you as you saw in the last clip. So, um, but they tell you to get in at the neckline, okay? So we will say this is our entry point. But me personally, I feel like every time at the if you enter in at the neckline, there's always a pullback because from here to the neckline, that's a big move. Like how many pips is that? That's 69 pips. After 69 pips, after 69 pips, you pretty much is going to get a pullback because that's a lot of of uh, of buying in one direction without any kind of kind of pullback. So. If you get in at the neckline, you pretty much sure can get into a, a drawdown if you enter right there. So I try not to enter at the neckline. I need to see some kind of pullback. And that's when I use my indicators to help me gauge where the market is. Because look, if when you get to the neckline, it's pretty much going to be overbought. There's a time for a cycle to happen. And this is the cycle for the next move up. Okay? So... I try to get in somewhere down here. Once I can see that this valley has been formed, this double bottom is formed, somewhere in here I'm trying to get in. Okay? I'm not trying to get in too early and I'm not trying to get in too late, but I'm trying to get in somewhere in here and catch it. And that gives me a good opportunity to ride it and move up my stop loss. Okay? So how do I get into this trade? Again, we use the stochastic, the Martin uh, uh, stochastic. And... Let's pull out the uh, crosshairs here. Um, the stop loss is pretty much going to be where this uh, line is. So let's move that to a stop loss. Boom. And take profit. We already went over that. But let me show you how to get into this trade. See, they're, they're saying, okay, get in at the neckline. Well, that's all, all the way overbought already. You understand? So... I think that we can get in somewhere down here closer to the stop loss. Okay? And so this Martin stochastic helps me. So now you see this background is becoming green. Okay? It was already green, a little bit of red because of the pullback, but it's it's pretty much green. So that's telling you, hey, we're in a we're in a uh, uptrend, okay? Now when you see this green line come above this red line going up, boom, you can take it. You can take it. So it's going to happen somewhere up in here. You can take that buy. 
And you you off to the you off to the races. I mean, forty six pips, just by understanding this chart pattern. Um, I'm not sitting around waiting for chart patterns all the time to happen. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of strategies on my YouTube channel. So I'm using all of them when they when they occur. When the 10 pip a day strategy occur, I use that. When this chart pattern occur, I use that. The more tools you have in your tool belt, the more money you can make. The more understanding, the more you know and more skills you have in, in understanding, the more money you can make. Because I'm not sitting around waiting for one type of trade to happen. I understand a lot of ways to skin a cat. I understand a lot of ways to make money in this market. And here's the double bottom. All right, guys, so that was part one to chart patterns, popular chart patterns. We're going to go into more chart patterns, okay? This is part one. We're going to do part two next week, all right? So, hey, if this video was informative, guys, like it for your boy. We at 15,000, and I appreciate you guys for showing the love, emailing me. I'm still getting back to a lot of you guys' emails and messages, but you're showing me love, and I appreciate you. We're one of the fastest growing Forex communities on YouTube, all right? We the strongest, baby. Let's go, all right? So, thank you for supporting me i appreciate it uh comment below some of the patterns that you like all right um so hey don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and let's make this money baby peace here comes the money here we go money talk here comes the money